Absolutely, he was crazy. Five years, multiple concepts, one historic building. Food is the easiest way to bring people together. We've followed Chris Shepard since he first arrived in Houston. It's fantastic. My name's Chris Shepard, owner at One Fifth here in Houston, Texas. You always know you're gonna come and get something different here. Years ago, I wanted to learn more about our city, and I wanna learn more about the food of our city. So I wrote a book called Cook Like a Local. The book is definitely a love letter to our city. You go to all these mom and pop places, People are cooking for their communities. That's sheer delicious. It's a life-changing experience. So the idea behind this restaurant was to go five years and to do five different concepts. The idea when we started was that we would open and then close it for a month and then reconcept it all, painting, decor, everything, and then reopen it again and do the next concept. Grand Crew, one fifth. We learned that closing for a month is pretty much just financially irresponsible. So we flipped this restaurant in 12 days. And so the first year we did steak. And then the second year we did romance languages, a focus on French, Italian, and Spanish. Year three was Mediterranean with a focus on Eastern Mediterranean. And we're halfway through year four, which is Gulf Coast. It started with jambalaya. We wanted to do a perfectly cooked rice dish in a casserole dish and serve it to you. The stability of the dish that you truly love may not be there again. So if you want something, you gotta come get it. So good. Amazing. Because it may not be there forever. It's just beautiful, you know? We talk about the diversity of our city. It's such a beautiful thing. There's so many different things that you would never know unless you get off the beaten path. You can go into one small restaurant called El Hill Dalguense, which is probably the truest version of Mexican cuisine that we have in our city. They've got goats roasting over open fire. They've got big steam jacketed kettles with, with lots of live fire on top of it and they're cooking baby lamb inside of it. This is the best day ever. Wow. This though right here, fish cake, dreams. <laughs> and then you hit Koreatown, which is pretty amazing. When we talk about the book, especially Cook Like a Local, it's not about using local ingredients, but it's about understanding who's in your neighborhood and who's in your city and kind of sharing experiences and learning from them. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. You can try all of these different things in one place. The biggest thing that we want our guests to walk away with is just having a good time um, and honestly hopefully learning something new or being reminded of something uh, in your past. In 2014 I was honored with winning the James Beard Award for Best Chef Southwest. This past year in, in, in 2019, but Rob Report named uh, me, <laughs> yeah, it's so weird to say, uh, Rob Report named me as the, the best chef in the world. Still blown away by these things, um, it's a little overwhelming. It's a lot to put on somebody, but I'll take it because I want to do this for our city. Usually when restaurants close, it's bad news. But when Chris does it, it's great. Because he's about to open another one. Or two, or three. <laughs> you should come in and try it because it may not be there tomorrow. We like to change. We like to go fast. <laughs>